Brian, after the progress you made over the course of last year, how much of a help is it to you having them bring in a Hassan Reddick? I mean, another guy who's put up pass rush numbers to be on the other side. How much does that help you? It's going to help me a lot. I mean, he's going to take up a lot of attention, but we got a bunch of guys that's going to help me out. Um, I mean, I, can, I the list goes on. You know who's on the, who's on the squad. But, um, yeah, they brought in a lot of guys to help me out. We got a lot of pieces. I, I feel like we kind of complete now, to be honest. How specifically does that enhance what you were able to do last year? Um, because, I mean, one, he's going to make me – I think he's going to make me go even harder because uh, it's going to be a little competition now in the room to get the sack the fastest. And also, he's just going to take a lot of attention off – of me, you know, with the uh, O-line and everything, so they, they just can't slide to my side or anything like that. They're going to have to pick their poison. And then um, we got Daquan Jones in the inside. Derrick Brown's coming along pretty good. Morgan Fox, um, Boye, all these guys are going to help me out in the coverage and in the uh, uh, pressure stamp um, instance. Nick Carboni, please. Brian, what do you take away from the defense's performance last year, particularly at the end when it seemed like you guys started to get better, faster, more comfortable and, and Phil Snow's defense? Um, we had a lot of rookies. We had, we had a lot of rookies that needed to step up and um, they came, they came, you know, they got better each and every week. So towards the end of the season, everything kind of came along, you feel me? But going into this, this season is going to be their second year. They don't, they got the first season under their belt. So they should, you know, have their feet wet. They should be fine now. So I feel like we all, we, we up and running now. I don't feel like a lot of things can stop us this, this year. Jonathan Alexander. Hey, Brian, hope all is well, man. Um, I had a couple questions for you. I know, I know you had a procedure done this um, off season. Just wondering how you feeling uh, since then? I'm feeling good. Um, we're just taking it slow, you know, ain't trying to rush back too soon, but uh, I'm feeling good just getting my strength back. And it was something small, so I'm fine. That, that was on the shoulder? Shoulder? Yeah, on the shoulder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what are your kind of expectations or hopes for this upcoming season um, for you now that you have a little more, when you all added a lot more pieces, you know, what do you kind of see yourself being able to do this year? Uh, personally or team-wise? Yeah, personally, personally. Um, I'm just really trying to step into this leadership role and uh, really trying to, you know, be more vocal and everything like that. Personal stats, I keep that to myself, but um, hopefully I'm going I'm to reach all of those too. But as a defense, I just want to be completely dominant over the course of the season. So I just feel like we can really do it now. And, and just a small question. Did you have any thoughts on the switch to turf, uh, from grass to turf? Like, what did you think about that? Uh, it didn't really matter to me. I play on anything. Thanks. All right, let's go to Will Palachik and then uh, Mike Salarte. Hey, Brian, as far as just – the kind of faith that the front office has in, in the building blocks like you and Jeremy and obviously adding JC in the draft. What, what does that say to the faith of, of how you guys performed last year on defense and kind of continuing to build this unit? I mean, you know, there's a lot of saying go defense wins championships. So I feel like they're putting a lot of, you know, a lot of emphasis on it and uh, bringing guys in like Horn and Chin and Brown and me and myself, you feel me? Um, I feel like that's the start. That's how you're going to get to it. And uh, hopefully we can put on a, a show this year with this defense that we have. I'm excited, Yeah, if you can't tell. I say, what, what do you feel like your role is now? Do you feel like you're taking more of a leadership role as far as that goes? Just because I know that, that these guys, are, a lot of them are young, but a lot of these guys are also just new to the uh, new to the side of the football. Yeah, towards the end of the season last year, I had to grow up, um, you know, even though it was my second year and uh, I had like limited snaps my first year, but I had to grow up and, cause I had a, basically a defense almost full of rookies. Um, I, don't know, I think it was like six or seven rookies playing at a time. So I had to grow up and, and kind of show them the ropes. And uh, going into this this year, like, I definitely got to have that leadership role because now we have even more rookies. But that's something that I'm going to embrace and I want to, you know, take part of. So I'm going to do it. Hey, Brian, Mike Solarte, Spectre News 1. Good to see you again. Uh, when, we, when you look at what this team missed out on last year in terms of these workouts, how critical are these workouts now with everybody having a year under their belt and now the addition of guys like Reddick and other players. And, and it, you, you, you obviously are very pumped up about the coming season, yeah. but it seems like this, this is only adding fuel to that fire. Yeah. Facts. Um, having this, having this, this, this period, I mean, I feel like it's going to build our chemistry even tighter 
and then it's a it's a time for them to learn learn the the, um, the scheme, the technique, everything, so we can go into camp full stride. We don't have to go through that teaching stage anymore. So having this is is definitely a benefit. And, and just quickly following on that, it, it's more to me. It seems like it's more than just X's and O's. It's more about you guys getting to know each other and yeah. and, and being tighter as, as as a family. Yeah, we got a lot of off. Well, not a lot of off time, but we got a lot of time to you know hang out. And you know, with the new additions, we got to get to know these guys, and they got to get to know us. And that just that helps you play for your team even even more. Just getting to know that guy next to you. Steve Reed. Hey Brian, you mentioned um, Jeremy Chin, and uh, you know I guess the thought is they're they're going to move him to safety, and uh, I know it's a different position than what you play, but I'm sure you've you've watched him on film. What are your thoughts on what would that bring to you guys if he's back there um, playing a different position uh, for back in the defense? Um, it's just like our safety blanket, you know, how the safety is the last, you know, last force of, of the defense basically, and I don't really feel like anything is really getting past Chin to be honest. So um, having him back there, he's just like our safety blanket. Like we know we got him over top, so he's gonna be there. Thank you. Right, let's go to uh, Stephen Toronto and Nick Carvone. Ryan, I feel like you've started to develop a reputation as one of the best young pass rushers, defensive ends in, in the NFL. Uh, I, and I know that you wanted, uh, you know, Pro Bowl, Pro Bowl recognition last year. What do you think? Now that you're entering your third year, what do you think that next step or those next steps you need to take are toward becoming that perennial pro, perennial pro bowler, uh, one of the best players at your position in the league? Um, There's a certain technique aspects that I got to I gotta work on, but um, at the end of the day, I can't really control about the pro, the pro Bowl and the All-Pro and all that. All I can do is put my head down and work, so that's mainly what I'm going to do. And then uh, how the cards fold is how they fold. And then real quick, if I could, uh, 99, which was your college number, opened up uh, after after K-1 left. Did you uh, give any consideration to changing numbers, or are you happy with 53? Yeah, I'm happy with 53. Brian, um, trying to figure out how to ask this the right way. You improved your sack totals last year, and obviously you're talking about how much you want to grow. I feel like you've talked about in the past how close you get on a, a lot of other sacks. And I, I'm not sure how you can get to the quarterback any faster, but do you do those motivate you as much as the ones that you do get as you try and kind of bring that number up year to year? Yeah, it's a, it's a motivation. Uh, it's like 50% motivation, like 50% fifty percent heartbreak. Because uh, knowing I missed out, I missed out on, on, a, on a couple. A couple sacks that was in my hands. I could have been a double digits easy. But... Um, yeah, but it's just something to get better at. So just something to watch, and I could just, you know, take those building blocks and step on those. So I could just get get better at that. Looks like we got a couple more for Brian. So let's go ahead and finish off with um, Joe Person and then uh, Bash Ty Hurt. Brian, how you doing, man? Um, wondered, uh, of course, there have been some, some other camps or OTAs elsewhere where they've gotten like 50% participation uh, or guys only doing two weeks of OTAs. How were the discussions like that with you guys? And, you know, was there part of you that wouldn't have minded, you know, kind of getting a week, another week off? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, as, as a defense, I know Shaq came to me and he was like, um, we all just trying to get out of the OTAs, get to know each other and, and go through this teaching stage. So I was all for it. I mean, I like being around the guys. I like being in the building. So it didn't bother me at all. Hi, Brian. Uh, thanks for your time. I was just curious what <clears> – <throat> It seems like you're bigger, so I'm asking you: Are have you put on any weight in the off season? And if so, uh, what has your workout regimen been? Uh, actually, I'm getting my weight back from the uh, little procedure I had on my shoulder, so um, I dropped weight pretty, pretty, pretty low uh, after the surgery. So I'm putting the weight back on, but I'm actually heavier than I was last year. So yes, I I did get bigger. <laughs> 